Welcome to myvisualpromotion.com. In this lesson, I want to show you how easy it is to use our online design tool to create your custom promotional product. Let's start by clicking on the Create Now button. This will then pull us up into the menu for your item selection, and you'll see wearables, drinkables, display products, and you'll notice this list will grow weekly as we new add new products every week. And uh, we have a lot of new exciting products on the way, so please check back frequently. Let's start by using a blank t-shirt. And we'll select the item. And, and again, keep in mind, you can start with any item. And I'm going to show you here how easy it is to change to different products. And you can see how your artwork looks on different products. So we're going to go here. We're going to go, let's add an image. And it pulls up. This shows my images. I've logged in and created an account. It's free to do that. And when you do, you can upload images and they'll stay in your account and be available for your use on different products or use them when you want to. Uh, you can click the create uh, the clip art button. This is some of the store images. These are images we used on some of the store item products. You'll see this is from our art design group, our staff that had some of their favorite designs they put together and put on there for you. Um, and again, this is another, another area where we're going to add new items and new designs and elements and stuff as we create them or come up with them. Uh, or you can go into the store library. And uh, the library is more or less like your clip art, more your basics and things of that nature that you could utilize. So we could go to different uh, design elements here from people, places, religion, sports, animals. As you see here, animals are here. We can click on this dog. It'll pull up in our preview. And you can easily click Add Image, and it'll add it directly to your garment. And at that point, you can resize it, you can recolor it, so on and so forth. And you can add text underneath it. It's very easy to do. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and X back out of that. <clears throat> and I'm going to use one of the images that I have in my library. I'm going to hit Add Images. I'm going to go right here to where it says Your Images. So I'm going to click here. And this is a uh, vehicle that... Our team did a custom wrap on at Visual Promotions, and uh, we used it in a parade. I'm real proud of it. Neat looking vehicle. And put it right here, position on the shirt. And you notice this boundary box that shows your imprint area. As you move the product or move your design, it'll trim it back out. So you want to stay within your design area unless you want that crop look. If you want to crop it down a little bit, you can do that. But in this case, I'm going to leave it in design area and select off. And I can select. Uh, deselect the uh, grid and it'll show me exactly what my product's going to look like. Next thing you want to do, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to hit add text. I'm going to say custom vehicle wrap by visual promotions. And you go back and capitalize that and hit add text. It's a lot like typing in Microsoft Word or something to that effect. And you can go here and you notice the text is too large from an imprint area and it's also not aligned. So over here, this is left aligned, right aligned, and this is center. So I'm gonna start by centering up my text. So it's centered and now I need to make it fit. So the up arrow is larger, the down arrow is smaller. So a couple clicks on the down arrow and it'll size up to where it fit under my image as you see here and then I can click here and change my image uh, my text color I got RGB colors a ton of RGB colors the name colors these are colors identified by their name and color slider you can use to create your own RGB custom color in this case I'm just going to use a simple black so I go back to my name color select black and reposition one more time get it exactly where I want it and select off of it and see what my product's going to look like at this point if I want to go back and edit that text some more select it again and right here I can go and I can select from a list of fonts you have your standard fonts fancy multi-language techno and so on so let's go with the fancy font and I want to use a font let's use Airstream I'm going to hit OK and when you change fonts, you may have to resize your text depending on your workable area. That's some vehicle wraps by Visual Promotions. Let's go a little bit larger. And I can position it exactly where I want it right there. And at this point, my product's finished. I can then go and say, well, what would it look like on a yellow shirt? So go up here to yellow, 
select yellow, go to gray, select gray, red, and so on and so forth. And that's the basics of how to design this t-shirt. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's easy to go to other products. So we can go up here and go to the product. And you go into, uh, right now we're on apparel. So we have women's, there's different women's apparel, different youth apparel, and there's actually infant apparel. So you can make something for the baby. Go to infants. And uh, depending on the size of your image, it sometimes takes a little while to move from product to product because it's redrawing your image every time. So please be patient and you know keep in mind if you upload your own custom image, the better that image quality is, the better your product's gonna be. So we recommend 200 DPI and a size of at least uh, 12 inches by 12 inches for your best results. Okay, we can select on the infant, on one of these onesies, and we go here. And you notice too, with the product getting smaller, of course that imprint area is getting smaller. So now I have to downsize my picture just a little bit and size it all up just like I want it and there's my product and if you notice here I can select one one in this case for this item is twenty dollars and sixty five cents and I include shipping print the whole nine yards delivered to your doorstep and we ship it within 48 hours of your order uh, if you go up in the quantity let's say we do 12 of these you'll get a discount based on quantity discount so for the full for 12 of them it's 223 dollars and your discount is 24.78 based on the order of 12 pieces going back to products we can go and select right that was apparel so now we can go to we have mouse pads full color signs totes the whole nine yards let's see what it looks like one time on a mouse pad select mouse pad and pull it in here and even in this case what we could do is we could take this picture and make it the entire mouse pad and then you notice we can take our text and maybe shrink it down just a little more and if we wanted to make it dress it up just a little bit what we could do is move it in here go to advance add a stroke and change that stroke color let's say to white and basically a stroke is a outline around your text and see how I put a little white around it and that'll make it stand out. You can control the width of that outline and get the look exactly what you want. And there it is, custom vehicle wraps, visual promotion. It has a picture in the background. And that's how you do a mouse pad. And you can do multiple products. Like I said before, all the way down to Teddy Bear. That's one of our newest products. Uh, custom Plus Teddy Bear. We go to it. We resize again for the new product. And go in here and or custom vehicle wraps and there you have it it's finished product I appreciate your time thank you for learning with me and uh, please check some of our advanced tutorials for advanced graphic design